Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to create that neon logo effect in Adobe Photoshop. For this tutorial you will need a photo of autumn leaves and as well a line icon. I bought this photo and these icons on Adobe Stock and on Envato Elements, but you can find a free photos and a free icons on unsplash.com or on freepeak.com. So you have a photo, you have a line icon, and now let's start our tutorial. Let's go! Well, guys, at first we need to open the photo, press open, select the photo, now open, ok, now we need to create a rectangle, select rectangle, with brown color, this one, I have this color. The color code of this color will be that one. OK. And you need to be sure that your rectangle don't have any stroke, so you need to have here a rectangle, rectangle with red line. And now we need to create rectangle with the size of the photo. We need to go to image and image size to know the size of rectangle which we need to create. So now let's create rectangle with the size of the photo. OK. Here zero and OK. And now let's take the rectangle and move it here. Now you see two pink lines, it means your rectangle straight in the center. Now I'm going to change opacity to 85%. And blending mode will be hard light. OK. Now I need to open my icon. Go to File, Place Embedded. And now I need to select my icon. I want to take the beer icon. I have here SPNG file and SVG file. Better here to take SVG file because it's vector format and you can scale it as you like. OK, now hold ALT and scale it. I think it's great size. Now you see again two pink lines, it means the beer straight in the center of your artboard. Now you need to be sure that you select the layer with the beer and press FX and select blend options. And here at first we need to change color overlay. Select color overlay we need to have here white color, but if you want, you can always change the color. So, but here we need white color, the color code or the classical white color is a uh, red one, 6F. Okay. Now we need to add stroke. Select stroke and here we need that yellow color with red color code. 
Okay. Now we need to take outer glow. And now let's select the mod liner light. Okay. And here we need opacity 85%, but you can change opacity as you like. I like 85, 86%. And here the color is that one. Okay. And the size I have here, maximum size, 250. But it's because my photo is pretty big. Uh, then you will have small photo, you need to hear different size. You need to have here different sides, so you need to play with options, and it will be depends of uh, the size of your photo. And now let's select uh, the drop shadow. Here I need normal mode and that color. Okay. And opacity I think will be great is seventy five percent. And the size I have here the same, the maximum size, but again it depends from the size of the picture. So I have pretty big size. If you will have small size of the photo, it can be different options. It will be different options. So you see if I delete the drop shadow it will be not so glowy as with the drop shadow. And if let's look how it was in the beginning. Let's delete preview and let's look again. Okay. Well guys, the glowing icon is ready. I think it's pretty cute. That's all for today guys. Hope you like my tutorial. If yes, give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in Adobe Photoshop or in Adobe Illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design. Bye bye guys. Mwah. Bye.